Guys, I'm going to do something different for you guys because this is just amazing. And if you can really get this into your spirit, I encourage you because this is an encouragement. It sounds a little bit heavy at first, but bear with me and you wait until the end. It's just awesome. This is the Book of Enoch and this is 50, 10, 64, 5, 6. Chapter 66. After this, he gave me the characteristical marks of all the secret things in the book of my great grandfather Enoch, and in the parables had been given to him, which had been given to him, inserting them for me among the words of the book of parables. At that time, Holy Michael answered and said to Raphael, The power of the Spirit hurries me away and impels me on. The severity of judgment and the secret judgment of the angels, which is capable of beholding the endurance of that severe judgment which has taken place and been made permanent, without being melted at the sight of it. Again, Holy Michael answered and said to Holy Raphael, Who is there who, whose heart is not softened by it, and whose reins are not troubled at this thing? Judgment has gone forth against them by those who have thus dragged them away. And that was when they stood in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. In like manner, also Holy Raphael, also to Raphael, they shall not be before the eye of the Lord, since the Lord of Spirits has been offended. Sorry about the something's been spilt on this. You can see it's well read. With them for the Lord's they have conducted themselves. Therefore he will bring upon them a secret judgment for ever and ever. For neither shall angel nor man receive a portion of it. But they alone shall receive their own judgment forever and ever. So this is the angels that fell, guys. I'll read that again. For neither shall angel nor man receive a portion of it, but they alone shall receive their own judgment forever and ever. After this judgment they shall be astonished and irritated, for it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. Did you hear that? After this judgment they shall be astonished and irritated, for it shall be exhibited to the inhabitants of the earth. Behold the names of those angels. These are their names. The first of them is Shamraza. Sam Yaza. The second is Astiapaka. Sorry, I can't st say that one. The third, Armen. That's why I don't say Armen and Men anymore. The fourth is Kakabail. The fifth, Turel. The sixth, Rumiel. The seventh, Daniel. The eighth, Kael. The ninth, Bakael. The tenth, Azazel. The eleventh, Armez. The twelfth, Batriel. The thirteenth, Basil. The fourteenth, Anael. The fifteenth, Turiel. The sixteenth, Simapiziel. The seventeenth, Yetrael. The eighteenth, Tum Tumael. The nineteenth, Tarel. The twentieth, Rumel. The twenty-first, Azaziel. These are the chiefs of their angels and the names of the leaders of the hundreds, of the leaders of their fifties, and the leaders of their tens. Now listen to this. The name of the first is Yukan. Yukan. He it was who seduced all the sons of the holy angels, and causing them to descend on earth, led astray the offspring of man, the second is Kezabel, 
who pointed out evil counsel to the sons of the holy angels and induced them to corrupt their bodies by generating mankind. The third, name of the third is Gadriel. He discovered every stroke of death to the children of men. He seduced Eve and discovered to the children of men the instruments of death, the coat of mail, the shield and the sword for slaughter, every instrument of death to the children of men. From his hand were these things derived to them who dwell upon the earth from that period forever. The name of the fourth is Penaminu. He discovered to the children of men bitterness and sweetness, and he pointed out to them every secret of their wisdom. He taught them to understand writing and the use of ink and paper. Therefore, numerous have been those who have gone astray from every period of this world, even to this day. For men were not born for this, thus with pen and with ink to confirm their faith. Wow. Since they were not created, I've got to get this book flat. Since they were not created except that, like the angels, they might remain righteous and pure. Nor would death, which destroys everything, have affected them. But by this, their knowledge, they shall perish. And by this also, its power consumes them. The name of the fifth is Kaziad He discovered to the children of men every wicked stroke of spirits and demons, the stroke of the embryo in the womb, to diminish it, the stroke of the spirit by the bite of the serpent, and the stroke which is given in the midday by the offspring of the serpent, the name which is Tabetat. This is the number of the Kezbel, the principal part of the earth which the Most High, dwelling in glory, revealed to the Holy Ones. Its name is Becca. He spoke to Holy Michael to deliver them the sacred name and that they might understand that the secret name and thus remember the oath that those children pointed out every secret thing to the children of men and they might tremble at the name and the oath. This is the power of that oath for powerful is and it is and strong and he established this oath of Ake by the instrumentality of the Holy Michael. These are the secrets of this oath, and by it they confirmed. Heaven was suspended by it before the world was made forever and ever. By it has the earth been founded upon the flood. Did you hear that? By it the earth has been founded by the flood. While from the, the concealed parts of the hills, the agitated waters proceeded forth from the creation to the end of the world. By this oath, the sea has been formed and the foundation of it. During the period of its fury, he has established the sand against it, which continues unchanged forever. And by this oath, the abyss has been made strong, nor is it removable from its station forever and ever. Did you hear that? By this oath, the sun and the moon complete their progress, never swerving from the command given to them forever and ever. By this oath, the stars complete their progress, and when their names are called, they return an answer forever and ever. Thus in the heavens take place the blowings of the wind, and all of them have breathings, and the effect a complete combination of breathings. There the treasures of thunder are kept, and the splendor of lightning. Wow, wow, wow. These are kept, the tre treasures of hail and of frost, and the treasures of snow, and the treasures of rain and dew, 
all these confess and laud before the Lord of spirits. They glorify with their power of praise, and he sustains them in all that act of thanksgiving, while they laud, glorify, and exalt the name of the Lord of spirits forever and ever. And with them he establishes this oath by which they and their paths are be preserved, nor does their progress perish. Great was their joy. They blessed and exalted, sorry, they blessed, glorified and exalted because the name of the Son of Man was revealed to them. He sat upon the, the throne of his glory and the principal part of the judgment was assigned to him, the Son of Man. Sinners shall disappear and perish from the face of the earth while those who seduce them will be bound with chains forever. Listen to this. I'm sorry I'm shaking, but this is full on. According to their ranks of corruption, they shall be imprisoned, and all their works shall disappear from the face of the earth, nor therefore forward shall there be any to corrupt. For the Son of Man has been seen sitting on the throne of his glory. Everything wicked shall disappear and depart from his face, and the word of the Son of Man shall become powerful in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. This is the third parable of Enoch. After this, the name of the Son of Man living with the Lord of Spirits, it proves they're two different entities. He is the Son of the Father. After this, the name of the Son of Man, living with the Lord of Spirits, was exalted by the inhabitants of the earth. It was exalted in the chariots of the Spirit, and the name went forth in the midst of them. From that time I was not drawn into the midst of them, but he seated me between two spirits, between the north and the west, where the angels received their ropes to measure out a place for the elect and the righteous. There I beheld the fathers of the first men and the saints who dwell in that place forever. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. That is just incredible. I have just had the Holy Spirit on me sitting here reading this. And I had to share it with you. I had to share it with you because I am totally moved. I am totally moved in the spirit. I hope you got something out of this, my brothers and sisters. I really do because I love you. And I want you to know that Yeshua HaMashiach is coming back, the real one. He will not be the one that they reveal. He will not be the Mashiach of the Jews that they are calling out for. You will know because he will not be a man on earth this time. He will crack the sky, guys. Yahushua will crack the sky and he will come back in glory with thousands upon thousands and thousands of his angels. Every eye shall see him, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Yahushua HaMashiach is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Please do it now. Please do it now. Have faith. Believe that he died for you and, and then call upon him and he will answer you. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I care about each and every one of you, just like the birds of the air. And everything he made was perfect in its, in its own right. And Satan, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him, Azazel, has corrupted everything. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Do not wear a mask. Tomorrow I am going to read out a whole thing that one of my subscribers sent me. I will tell you his name tomorrow and I am just so gifted to have been given that information so it might be about 45 minutes long what I read out to you but it will blow your mind and it's something you need to share with everybody so please I impeach you even to share this I will read the rest of this I'm on page 89 I cannot forget that and I will read the rest of this to you tomorrow as well my brothers and sisters I am thinking about you. I just prayed for you all. Believe me, I am praying for you in strength, in spirit. He has given me courage. I asked him for courage of a lion, a lioness. 
protecting her cubs and you guys are my cubs too and I will fight to the end and I will die if I have to and I will not consent. I love you. This is Beck from Oz. I love you so much. I love you all so much. Please stay with us, Growler and I. We're going to go to the end. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. I love you. This is Beck. I'm out.